Hello guys, Hypoon here back with another video. Today we're going to open up 16 mystery ST chests. And no, I will not open them normally because that's boring. And I mean, weird ways did kind of help in the past. Omni and Kagaboshi at risk. <gasps> Double white, no way! Another reason why I plan to open them weirdly is because of my previous mystery ST chest openings. They were pretty horrendous. No, that's... It kinda alright. I think the most appealing thing I got out of those was the Brain of the Golem, which I got at least 9 of, and yikes. I can't believe they had the audacity to give me 3 ST cloaks, and a phylactery. I don't even want to remember what the name of this is. To be honest, this is probably the most forgotten item in the game. I'm sure most of us remember this enchantment orb, but you? Yes, I'm talking to you. Admit it. You forgot about this robe. So anyways, what am I going to do this time? Well I had a chat with a few buddies on how I'll increase my luck to get a nice drop from these chests and we have something for each chest which you'll see soon. What do I want from these? I'd love to get the Deathless Crossbow. That's my top pick. It looks nice and with it will complete my Ghost Archer ST set. I also want the Mercy's Bane because that's kind of a given. It's the best DPS armor in the game for melee classes. And Tene. Oh wait, Tene is actually removed from the chest, damn it. Without further ado, let's get to our first chest. Equip a kendo stick to the 7th slot. Well that's a little generic but it does work, I guess. Oh, there we go. Kendo stick in the 7th slot for luck and... Hmm. Not a bad ring, but it's not something I need either. Well, 15 more to go. Equip a fire sword to the 5th slot. Oh, another one. Fire sword is the second most known item to give luck. Remember these don't actually give luck, but in this case it does. Because it's for the plot. Hey, the fire sword. That took 5 minutes. Hopefully it pays off when I open a chest. 5th slot because it's tier 5. Ooh, the assassin ring. Not bad. It's the rarest piece of the acidic assassin set. So, I don't mind. Yeah, that's 2 down. Equip the dirk to your first slot. Wow, that's quite coincidental. They're talking about the dirk, which is the uh, item I'm looking for. Never mind, they're probably talking about sea dirk. And there we go, the Dirk. Go to the first slot because it's tier 1. Boop! Brain of the Golem. That's, that's, a, that's a really good item. But I did say I had at least 9 of these, so nothing exciting at all. Well, I only have one left, so fair enough. I, I, I take it. Replace Kendo with Ray. Do I even have a Ray Katana? Mmm, nah, this doesn't count. My ninja has a Ray though. Oh, by the way, I just want to let you guys know I love this set so much. It's super fast, nice DPS, and it has fair survivability. It looks really good too. And I get a Berserk on a Ninja, which is a big win. Upgrade. So now we have the expensive Kendo stick. A Kendo dipped in gold. Whoa. Ooh, the ST seal. That's a good one. It's like a semi jug, and it has a huge 9 attack boost. It's a solid DPS seal just for that. Thank you, Golden Kendo. Place a white bag, well that's a fool's prison, so put it here and stand on it. Well I do like the Samurai ST set, so we're one step closer to that. We need Ryu's Blade and Kamishima now, so yeah, shit ring but cool loot. Open one without looking. Ooh, I got an idea for that. Control, ship, Z. Now we all can't see it. Wait, which slot was it in again? Oh yeah, three. And three. Ooh, bloodshed ring. I don't mind having that. A nice balanced ring. Oh wait, I mean the bloodstone ring. Bloodshed is the cultist one from the hideout. I seem to be getting quite a lot of rings though. Kill Limon instantly. Kill Limon instantly? That's actually one of my favourite things to do in my spare time. Time to show off the Void Quiver. For those of you who don't see me in the streams, this is my favourite item and you're about to see why. I'm going to take my DPS gear off. The Quiver itself should manage. Oh, such a pleasant kill. Straight up pounded Limon. <music> Celebrate her death with... Ooh, the croissant. That's awesome. Just need Hollyhock and the bow now. Wow. I'm happy with that. I'm actually pretty happy. We got five rings out of seven chests though. Drop a precious item and wait until the bag flashes. Then pop the chest and pick up the item. Oh my god, this again. Ah, <sighs> I'll spice it up. Ogma, Omni, Sword the Colossus, and Crown. One, 
two, three, and four. Get the chest, and we wait. I really hope I don't disconnect. Ah, oh, the tension, oh my god. My armpits are getting so itchy. Ooh. What do I do? Yeah, we're just gonna have to pick up the items. Oh, it's flashing. Wait. I are you kidding me? That was my only Ogma. I am so stupid. Oh god, are you kidding me? Oh my god, I oh seriously. That was my only Ogma. Well, that's my only Ogma gone, and I don't think anything from this chest opening will outweigh the loss. Let me just armor break for a bit to release my misery. Kill a cube. Why well, isn't that just salt to the wound? There goes my fame bonus. Oh, right, I got the sentient star from the previous chest. Damn, I paid no attention to this after I lost my Ogma. But hey, it's an okay star, pretty much just a cosmic, but yeah. Ninth chest. I don't need that. Show me your most powerful shot. Ooh, I got a setup for that. This gives me 10 attack. This gives me 7 attack. This gives me 150 attack. This is my 217 attack pattern setup with the Indomptable Sword. Ooh, a Pentaract. Maybe we can get an Aurea and somewhat compensate for my Ogma? Ooh, 4.1k. That was sexy. Oh my god, I have five of these. Russian Abyss without a pet. Easy. Let's put a pussy set on. Take off our pet. Alright, chest number 11. Ah, uh, are you serious? Another ring? Is this rigged? Use a lucky clever to boost your luck. Well, time to waste a clever, I guess. Ooh, okay, I don't mind having this. I kind of want my Pirate King set back. So yeah, fair enough. Do top damage to Oryx too. Time to close the realm. Ooh, a Lotl. Maybe I can get my Ogma back, please, Decker? Nope. I didn't even get a soulless robe from the lichers. Wait, this guy looks like a soulless robe himself. Find seller dance for O2. There we go. Fungal spell is crazy. Sheesh. What? Ow, ow! Holy crap! Last phase. Yes, top damage and holy crap, 31% of its health. God damn, he got swept by me. Ooh, I wanted that. This robe is so elusive. Finally I got it. I've done like so many abysses. Holy crap. Nice. I just need the ring now and get the full set. Open a chest normally, you moron. Ouch, that kind of hurt, man. Heh, <laughs> caused me a moron, but look at this trash. You gave me bad luck. Do a 20 second snake pit. 20 second snake pit? I've done 18 seconds once. E. A. Z. Ah, uh, damn it. That should be it. It was fairly clean. That only took two tries, which is pretty cool. Second last chest, and we get... Ooh, we got three parts of the wizard set now. I have the ring, that means I get the full set. Awesome. Get a white bag. So basically get lucky to be lucky. Well, lucky for me, there's a nice event now to help me out. And there's a white bag. It's a spirit dagger. 
Alright, last chest. Let's see what we get. Boop! Ah, oh, a dupe, are you kidding me? That's 16 mysterious tea chests open for you guys. The outcome was average. I didn't get that lucky, but I didn't get unlucky either. Although none of these items will even compare to the loss of my Ogma. Well, I hope you guys aren't too mad at that, by the way. Seriously though, it said one item. Why did I drop four? <sighs> I'm stupid, I didn't even get anything good out of that. That's my adventurous mystery ST chest opening. Thank you guys for watching and don't forget to drop your Ogma. Thank <laughs> you.